Hello, this is Michael Carnes at Exponential Audio, and I'm going to demonstrate the new search feature in plugins. I'm showing you with Phoenix Verb, but it works the same in any of the plugins. All you need to know is that this little icon up here, this little magnifying glass, is where you go to search. Now there are already a couple of ways to organize presets. You've got keywords. They've been around for a long time. You've also got a favorites list. You can add anything you'd like to your own personal list of favorites. But sometimes you want to look around in another way. Now for the first example, I've got a preset in there somewhere. It's got the name Thor in it, but I don't remember if it's a plate or a chamber, if it's large or small. I just remember that I liked it, but I don't know where to look for it. Why not search? I'll type in Thor, hit an enter, and boom, there they are. Thor's football. That's what I was looking for. Now you'll see there's a new keyword up here. It's called search results. I've still got all the other keywords, and they work the same as they always have, but I've still got these search results. It's my last successful search will always be there. That's until you put the session away or until you remove all copies of the plugin. But that was a pretty simple search. Let's show the real power of the search engine. Let's say I'm looking for a chamber. Well, there's plenty of other ways that I can find a chamber, and that gave me a whole lot of choices, more than I really need right now. But that's just a start. I'll go back up here, and you'll notice my previous search is still in the little search bar. So let's say I want a chamber, but it has to be one that's appropriate for voice. Now, I could write voke or vocal or any of a few spellings, and the search engine is smart enough to know common spellings and synonyms. So this abbreviation should be fine. Hit enter. Okay, that narrowed it down a little bit. So here are some presets that are chambers and are appropriate for voice. But let's narrow it down even farther. Now you'll notice chamber, that could be any chamber, large, small, medium. The plus meant that it had to be designated for vocals. Let's say the minus is I don't want any small sounds. So now it has to be a chamber. It has to be appropriate for voice, but it can't be small. Okay, that's narrowing it down even further. So you see I've got it down to one page. Let's do another. I don't like the narrow ones either, so I'm just using an abbreviation. I could type out narrow if I wanted to. And there we are. We've got it down to something manageable. So all you have to remember is that if you type words without a plus or a minus, any of those will be matched. If you have a plus in front of the word, then that word has to be matched. It may not be in the title. It may be. It may be in one of the vocal keywords. It just has to be appropriate for voice. The minus means that that can't be in there. So I'm leaving out any small stuff. I'm leaving out any narrow stuff. It's case insensitive. It doesn't matter if you type upper or lower case. It all works out the same. And that's all there is to it. I hope you enjoy search.